Peace family, what's up? Do you got times in your life where you just don't have the energy to be talking to anybody, don't be having the energy to like text back? When you see a text come to your phone, you just don't feel like responding to it. When you, somebody like trying to hang out, you just don't feel like doing it. You know what I'm talking about? All these type of things. Do you ever just feel a lack of energy to live the life that you are experiencing or living right now? You just don't feel like doing it. You know what I'm saying? This video for you. My name is Manny X. Welcome back to the channel. If you already seen some of my content, if you haven't seen my content, I make videos. It's all about self improvement and what we call spiritual activity and experiences. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all resonate with the content, you can always support me by showing a like or commenting down below what you liked about the video or whatever and your perspective and we can talk and all of that type of stuff. I respond to probably all of my comments, like most of them I respond to, you know what I'm saying? So just hit me up on there if you really want to chat. We're going to be talking about why these things are really draining you like that. Why do we always gradually get to the point to where you're feeling drained doing the things that you're supposed to do or just doing the things that you are, that you find yourself supposed to enjoy, you know what I mean? Instead, you like resent them or you don't want to do them and it feels like a drainage of energy every time. We are gonna just get right into it. This might be a quick video. This is all about the currency of thought within yourself. What is the currency of thought within yourself? We are gonna put it like this and I'm kind of like using this and paraphrasing from somebody else's teaching. Shout out to Carolyn Mace. If you don't know who Carolyn May says, she makes books and stuff like that. She's like a medical intuitive, a whole bunch of different things. She's been doing this stuff since like the 80s. Y'all should get into her content, change my life type stuff. In this concept, we talk about the mind having a currency every day. Pretend like every day you start off at $100 in your mind. You know what I'm saying? And there are different influences, different things, different activity that's happening within the mind that is fluctuating, that is influencing you. And that determines whether you lose or you gain currency. And that is your investment that you must make for the day to become abundant within yourself, mentally, emotionally. Pretend that this is a currency and you have to use this currency to invest properly to become internally abundant. You get what I mean? In our normal daily lives, our dominant influencers that influence our decisions and where we end up being in our circumstance and quality of thought in our life, that would be our emotions and our thoughts. The thoughts that we are experiencing ultimately stir up and we embrace those and then we come out with an emotional reaction to those thoughts and then that's like a process that's constantly happening for us like probably like thousands of times a day. It's really having a self-awareness in this point of the things that are really draining you from your emotions and the things that are really draining you from your thoughts. What type of thoughts that you do you keep in your mind that you end up really reacting to them in a negative way and then it spirals you down to this negative path full of suffering or with resentment or anger or whatever it could be, you know what I'm saying? Something that is unpleasant, something that you don't really prefer to experience in the now. This is the things that you want to keep in tune with. Your thoughts in your mind is a very important and sacred place for your energy. You have to be careful of the things that you let into your mind, the thoughts that you allow yourself to breathe. Don't allow yourself to complain consciously. If you feel complaints and all that stuff, mentally, you gotta move and look somewhere else. A good thing to do when you feel like you can't control how your mind is thinking is to move as much as you can. I do this a lot. When I feel like my mind is moving in a way that I can't control, I move so much that I don't even pay attention to what is going on within the mind. You start working out as heavy as you can or being in fight or flight mode, you're not gonna be thinking at all. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be so immersed in your actions now that you're not even in the activity of the thoughts. These type of things can get you to push yourself in another momentum other than the negativity that you were going down. You get what I mean? Again, with the emotions. What are the emotions? Not even the emotions in themselves because if you are on this path of oneness, then you understand that our emotions are all something that are here to help us grow and to understand and to step into the power that is us to really understand ourselves and collect that data like we do on this third dimension. With that being said, you don't really wanna look at the emotions as like, what emotion do I not need in my life? What emotion do I need to block off? But you need to look at the emotions as what emotions do I really need to get in tune with and shift my relationship with? What type of reactions am I having to these emotions that are causing me to scale into these negative patterns that are repeating themselves and getting deeper and more profound and worse and full of more suffering 
or whatever it is. But these are the type of things that you want to stay in tune with with yourself. Having your awareness about how you are interacting with each of these emotions. So when you feel that anger and stuff like that, it's not that you can't process the anger. You should process and express your anger. But you got to take little steps and realize that you have to be disciplined in the way that you maintenance it. How you view the anger. You know what I'm saying? Does the anger owe you something? You know what I mean? All of these type of different things. You need to be really looking and dissecting how you are looking at your emotions. A lot of us look at our emotions as if if this happens, then this has to happen. Because I suffered so much, now something good has to come my way. You could have put yourself through some suffering. So that nothing could be coming your way because you're not going to get or attracting anything your way with the mentality that you that you have within yourself these are the type of things that we want to become aware of when it comes to sustaining our currency throughout this time and that's where we come back to the currency that's where the currency of thought comes in say if i wake up first thing in the rising and the first thing I think is, oh, damn, I gotta go to work today. That could be like $20 out of my account today. You know what I'm saying? I start off with 100, now I got 80, you know what I'm saying? And that's the that's as soon as I woke up because the first thought I thought was something that drained my energy, was something that made me feel like I did not wanna live the experience that I was into. You know what I'm saying? It's the path of focus is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand right here. Then say I get up, you know what I'm saying? Pat my dog, my dog coming there. I'm like, oh, I love my dog, you know what I'm saying? That may be like, that may be like three, three dollars of extra currency, you know what I'm saying? But then like, I go out to the car, you know what I'm saying? And my car is stuck, I can't get it out, it's snowing. Like, it's stuck in the snow. Oh, now that just took $50 from me. I'm out here frustrated, I'm out here, oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's these little things. Now you got a little, you got like, probably, how much would that be? That'd probably be about like 30 something dollars left of currency. And correct me in the comments if I got that incorrectly. But you get what I mean by this. All these little thoughts and all these things that you are embracing is the problem. It's not the things that are here. Don't be so arrogant and think that the things around you that God has created, that the, that the source has created for you to experience is wrong. It's your thinking that's wrong. The circumstance can never be wrong. It's only your thinking that can be wrong. So anytime where something doesn't add up to you, you have to evaluate and adjust the way that you are interacting and you interpret everything that is going on around you. Then you will have a better understanding. We have to be humble in that sense. That's the subconscious arrogance that we carry in this life, thinking that anything can go wrong. Any Everything is supposed to go the way it was supposed to go. If you say that everything happens for a reason, then that means that everything was meant to happen. You know what I'm saying? Or everything has an essential, everything is an essential part of this whole entire thing that you're doing. But with all of that, I love y'all and stay in tune with yourself. This is the type of content that I make. Like I said, my name is Manny X and I usually try to make self-help content on here and just get the spiritual vibes up here, raise the vibe in this zone. But remember to stay in tune with yourself, keep loving yourself. And remember that the currency of thought is literally a simultaneous thing that you're working with every day and you're draining yourself or rejuvenating yourself based on the things that you are keeping in your life it's not the experience that itself it's the way that you are interacting with the experience the way that you react to the experience the way that you view the experience in general all of these things all of that said i love you i remember what you're projecting out here because you're ultimately going to be experiencing it and to just stay in your truth and stay grounded in whatever is truth for you stay disciplined don't lie to yourself and be real Shimon